Austin community members came together today to talk about the future of a tax referendum that could help fund several road projects, including the 526 extension. Carol that meeting and heard from those concerned community board members who are for and against it. And Caroline, break all of this down for us. Now, Rob, if the referendum passes on the November ballot, then there will be a half percent sales and use tax dedicated to the fundings of several road projects. Now, the main priority of the project is 526, but there are other road projects throughout the county. The, such as Rivers Avenue, bicycle pedestrian improvements, parts of Highway 17, and car to transportation. About 15 people protested outside of today's meeting, trying to spread their message of voting no. Community members that are for this referendum said this will help with traffic and safety from West Ashley, Johns Island, Mount Pleasant, and North Charleston. I know that my Johns Island family doesn't want a two hour and 14 minute morning ride to the airport. I also prefer a 20 minute drive to MUSC rather than 114 minutes. As we all know, the region will only continue growing and we need to keep a plan for the future in mind. However, those who oppose this referendum say it goes just beyond traffic and infrastructure, but from an ecological point as well. When you build roads, you build impervious surface areas, so you get flash flooding. So it's a way of sort of, what you say, poisoning the river slowly. Community members will vote on this decision on November 5th, 2024. To find out more information, you can head over to our web story on live5news.com or on our app. Reporting in West Ashley, Caroline Spikes, Live 5 News.